Northern New York environmentalists gathered at the Thousand Islands Harbor Hotel today for a discussion on all things conservation. Tonight, 7 News reporter Chad Charette highlights some of what was discussed, including an update on Blind Bay. Unfortunately for us, there are many threats affecting the ecosystem of the Great Lakes. And Water pollution. It was just one of many topics discussed at Save the River's 35th annual Winter Environmental Conference. I think conferences like this are important because it gets everybody in the same room and they can all have discussions about topics that either they're familiar with or sometimes things that they've never heard of before. More than 100 environmentalists turned up for the event at the Thousand Islands Harbor Hotel and discussed things like contaminants, slaughterhouses, and eels, a favorite of executive director John Peach. I've always had a love affair with these eels. And when, when I was a kid growing up, they were all over the river, and then all of a sudden they disappeared, and now they're coming back. But just listening, they're under a lot of pressure. Another focus, Blind Bay. Customs and Border Protection has had its sights set on the area and plans to construct a new facility there. The move has faced pushback from concerned environmentalists, like Thousand Islands Land Trust Executive Director Jake Tibbles. Really, we need to have an alternative that is both suitable for the mission of Customs and Border Protection, at the same time does not present the environmental impacts and threats that citing such a facility in Blind Bay would have. That spawned a slogan, say no to Blind Bay, say yes to Bonnie Castle. Many believe the old Bonnie Castle Recreation Center would make a more eco-conscious alternative. So to me, that's a win-win for the environment, for CBP, and for the, the river. But will CBP choose the alternative? Tibbles isn't sure. That's the million-dollar question. Um, you know, it depends on the day. John Peach, on the other hand, tells us he's very optimistic. That's because the efforts to protect Blind Bay have seen support from officials all over the political spectrum. We've got great support now from the governor coming. <clears throat> We've got excellent long-term support from Senator Schumer and from Congresswoman Tenney. Those looking to learn more about what was discussed can do so on Save the Rivers website. Chad Charette, 7 News.